Hey guys, thanks for checking out my live video of my behind the scenes blog post of my second series, my second stories in this series that I, you know, just made up, but the Stone the Builders Reject this series. And this time I'm featuring the beautiful Adrian Bylon. And I just love this story that she shared about how growing up, she didn't have a lot of money. So she didn't have all the fancy, famous, or fun toys that were popular during the time. So when she invited her, her little classmates over for fun, she decided to like say like, oh yeah, let's, let's read the subtitles and we can act like we're acting, like we are acting out a scene. And that's what she thought was fun. But whole time, you know, her classmates that came over went back to school and blasted her and said how weird she was. And, you know, it was like very hurtful because she opened up her house to, you know, these, these friends and they just went back and just tried to put her down. But fast forward later, you know, she's an actress. She she works in television. She remember getting a compliment from someone telling her how good she could read a teleprompter. And that's when she remember like, hey, I used to do this all the time as a kid. So the same thing that those kids were making fun of her about wind up being like the preparation to take her to where she is today in the spotlight on TV on the real. So I was just very, very inspired by that. So I just decided to create an article about like her experience. Cause I know like at times we all probably felt rejected or like we didn't fit in or something quirky or something different about ourselves. Like we didn't like that. We was just like, uh, or like ashamed of our background or something like that. But that very thing could be the thing that just takes you to another level. It's kind of like the thing that you need to just it's like the training ground. It's, it's changing you and it's forming you. And I'm just like so inspired by this. So I'm going to try to like share a little bit of her story just so you guys can get the gist. So for me, a fun pastime was having friends over and being like, all right, when it comes up, it says Meg and I'm Brian. You read Meg and I'll read Brian. I invited this kid over and they ended up telling everyone in my school, don't go to Adrian's house. She's super weird. Her parents don't speak English and she's going to make you read the TV for fun. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And I cried so bad about that. Like to me, that was so heartbreaking. And I would invite kids and mm -hmm. they'd be like, no, you're going to make me read the TV. And then... And fast forward this. It never looks like you're reading. Why is it when you're reading the prompter, right? Mm. Uh. And I got an incredible compliment from a producer once that said, man, why is it when you're reading the prompter, it <laughs> never looks like you're reading the prompter? And I said, God, you are so good. Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. I've been reading the prompter since I was eight, and I didn't even know. I think if, if we could instill that in our children to recognize... Yes. Yo, whatever that yeah, thing is, that is your things that you think are holding you back, that people make fun of you for, trust and believe that is God setting you up. That's yeah. preparation yeah. for what you're intended to be. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I just I just love that story. And I'm just fleshing out some of the key points that I want to hit on concerning what she shared. I know one thing for certain, two things for sure, you know, you have to allow your struggles to be the training ground to catapult you to the next level. Or at least that's my opinion. That's exactly the thing that I took away from Adrian's story. Whole time, the same thing she was getting made fun of. Who knew that years down the line, it would be the thing that she's getting complimented for. And it, and basically, her livelihood is was putting money in her pocket. And I just wonder where those same kids are that was like talking about her. It, it it's, it's, Everything always just comes full circle. And I just give thanks and glory to God for that, you know. And that's what I wanted to actually highlight in the beginning realizing that God never wastes to hurt like he got you you know you gonna be good so I hope that you guys read this uh blog post that I'm creating when I'm finished and then you know I just gotta put a gif in there I, I really like gifs they just they're so cute to me and I found this one of her I want to win. I ain't playing no games right. And when she did, she came, she saw, she conquered. Go, Adrian. So I'm just going to like add a little bit more to some of these parts. And then I will be publishing it soon. So please check it out on sinquetabooks.com. And then you could just go to my blog right here. And you will see it. This is like the behind the scenes kind of look. 
but it'll be right here with Cheryl Underwood. If you have not read that, that she kicked off my series for the Stone, the Builders Rejected series. She kicked it off for me. So if you have not read that one, I think you should. I think you'll like it. But I'm trying to do these every Monday in the month of December, you know, give you guys some, some, some encouragement. Like no matter what you go through, no matter what you experience, God got you. He going to use that hurt. Like, you know, just accept it, grow from it, and don't hold it against anybody and move on. All right. I will talk to you guys soon, and don't forget to check it out when it goes live.